Welcome to Electrical Engineering Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to don't miss our upcoming videos. All electrical and electronic devices requires current to operate. Copper is a good conducting material. Let we imagine a copper wire which is filled with copper atoms. Copper is one of those elements that has only one electron in its outermost shell. That means, a little energy is enough to make this electron to be free. Let we imagine that, we pushed an electron to this copper wire, it will eventually, find a new atom to latch onto, the negative charge of that electron, will eject another electron from the outer shell which will then, move on to the next atom, and so on. This electron movement, create a flow, which known as, electric current, in aluminium, gold, and many other materials, this flow can happen, because by a little energy, electrons can move between its atoms, all these materials are called conducting material. The conducting material electrons, will never move without help, and to help them to move, we need a voltage source, like a battery, in the battery there is a build up, of negative charge on one side, in the form of excess electrons, the other side has a build up of positive charge, in absence of electrons, always the charges want to balance, and the only way to do that, is to allow the electrons, to transfer from, the negatively charged side, to the positively charged side. This movement must happen through a conducting material. We will connect a conducting wire to the battery negative side. And the other wire side will be free, the current will not move, because the air is an insulating material, so it will not accept the traveling electrons, and we are calling it an open loop, so we need to connect the other wire side, to the positive battery side to be close loop, but if we connected it directly, so there is nothing to slow down the electrons movement which will lead to, high energy transfer, causing heat in the wire, then fire. To slow down we will add a bulb to our circuit, electrons will transfer, through our circuit, causing the bulb to glow, or to operate, this flow will continue till charges are balanced, or we are telling battery discharged. So now, what is electric current? Current can be defined as, the motion of charge, through a conducting material. The charge unit of measurement is, coulombs, but the ampere is the current unit of measurement. So what is ampere? Ampere is the total quantity of charge, that passes through an arbitrary cross section, of a conducting material, per unit second. That means, if 8 kilohms passes through a point, in 4 seconds that means current is equal to, 2 ampere. Now how to measure the electric current? We need to divide the current, into 3 main values, from 0 to 400 milliampere, from 400 milliampere to 10 ampere, and any current higher than 10 ampere. In the first 2 values we will use a multimeter. Note that these values can be changed according to your multimeter type. As here in our multimeter, we have four ports, two of them are designed to measure current, this port as printed downside, is designed and fuse protected, to measure values less than, 400 milliampere. the other port is designed and fuse protected, to measure current less than 10 ampere. Now we need to use the multimeter, to measure the current in this circuit, multimeter must be connected in series, and now we will turn the measuring indication to A, which is the current measuring position, and we will put the first multimeter's prob in COM port, and the second one in the 10 ampere port, the ampere value will be shown, on the multimeter LCD, as shown it's 0.2 ampere, which equal to 200 milliampere, so we can safely move the measurement indicator to 400 milliampere, for more accurate measurement, now it's showing 205 milliampere, note that, 
you are not allowed to switch the multimeter from amp air to milliamp air, if current is more than the fuse value, or fuse will be blasted. Another way to measure the current is their clamp meter, normally is used we need to measure the current without switching off the circuit, on with higher values. Now we need to measure this circuit current, without interrupting the operating load. To measure using a clamp meter, you have to clamp the wire carrying the current. You have to press here to open the clamp meter, and when the cable will be inside the clamp release to close again, and the amp air value will be shown in the LCD. For example, this clamp meter can measure up to 600 amp air. What will be the next video topic? To know, subscribe and turn on the notification. Thank you for watching.